In this short video of Pro Series Professional Tax Software, we're going to focus on how simple it is to create a tax return. Let's take a look. This is the opening screen of Pro Series Tax. We call this Home Base. Home Base is where you manage all of the clients that you have within the Pro Series Tax Software. So, what we're going to do from Home Base is we're going to create a brand new tax return. In the upper left of our screen is a button that says new client file. Simply select that. It will bring up a list of all the software that you've installed and we're going to start a 1040 return. Now when you create a, a new return in Pro Series, the first screen that you're going to see is what we call the Federal Information Worksheet. Some programs refer to this as the Client Information Screen and it's all the basic information we need to begin creating the tax return. So let's start with our personal information. We'll use the last name of Smith. First name, I'll use my own, Kevin. And you'll notice how fields will begin to turn red as you enter data. That is where the program is automatically identifying the absolute necessary fields you need to fill out to be sure this return can be e-filed. So let's go ahead and enter the Social Security number, an occupation, and our date of birth. We also provide fields for tracking contact information. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and skip those for now and we'll add a spouse. Uh, we'll call the spouse Sue, the social for Sue, and her occupation and her date of birth. Now the next fields that we need to fill out will be identified in red, letting us know that we do need obviously to put in the address. So we'll put in 105 Main Street and then we're taken directly to the zip code field. Putting in the zip code will automatically populate the city and the state. The next fields that are mandatory are identifying the filing status. So we'll make this a married filing joint tax return. And then under the dependent section, let's add a dependent. We'll call the daughter Mary, uh, her social. Uh, that's D for on the uh, relationship field. Just type D for daughter. The date of birth for Mary is 2008. The dependency code, which is a child living with the client, for EIC, they are a qualifying child, and the months lived with the taxpayer in the U.S. is 12. Now the next section to fill out, there are a couple of questions uh, for us to calculate EIC. Is the taxpayer or spouse a qualifying child for EIC for another person? No. Did they live in the U.S. for more than half of 2013? Yes. Here's a section where you identify who the preparer is in the firm that's actually being assigned to the return. And then finally, where you indicate whether you're going to be e-filing. So I'll say I'm e-filing federal and I'm e-filing California. Now once you've filled out this federal information worksheet, I'm going to show you how to enter data in Pro Series in what we call our forms-based data entry. So once you've completed the form, go to the top. There's a line that says Quick Zoom to Form 1040. Click Quick Zoom and it brings up the 1040. You'll notice right away that all the information that you just entered on the preceding page is now completely filled out on your 1040 when you get here. Name, address, filing status, exemptions, there's Mary Smith, my dependent. Now in a forms-based data entry system, um, you're using the IRS form, page one and two, as your guide to how you're gonna be entering the data into the client's return because you're very familiar with the tax form. So in the case of wages, all you do is go to line seven and click the button. We are going to ask you to enter the name of the new employer. I'll just call this employer ABC Company. Now it drops us directly to the W-2 worksheet where we enter the information for ABC. Now Pro Series does a very good job in remembering all those things that you type, like the bank names, like the names of the employers, so you're not having to enter that stuff over and over and over. Just simply enter the employer EIN and we will populate the fields that need to be filled out for e-file. So I'll go ahead and enter $70,000 in wages, and maybe we'll put in $12,000 in federal tax withheld. I don't have anything in box 12, but I do need to put in the employer state ID number to be able to e-file the return. Now, once I'm done entering the data on the W-2, I'd like to go back to the 1040 to continue on with data entry. How do I go back to the 1040? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. The one I use is on the top right of the screen, you'll notice there's a left arrow and a right arrow. That means back and forward. So the program is very much like an internet browser in that it remembers all the screens that you go through. So I hit my back button, you see I'm right back on the 1040, it's already given me $70,000 shows up on line seven. 
you want to enter interest and dividends, it's just a matter of going to line 8A. Same thing, click the button. We're taken directly to the Schedule B where we enter our interest income. So I have a couple here. One for Alliant Credit Union is 350 Have another for uh, Bank of America. You notice how I start typing, it fills it in. And then I put in 250 Hit my back button, it takes me right back to my Form 1040. And as you can see, Every time we return to the 1040, the software is automatically updating our tax return. So what's nice about our program is you never really have to tell the program that you want it to update the calculations. As you enter the numbers, it's constantly recomputing. So every time you see a form or a schedule or worksheet, you're seeing the most up-to-date numbers. Okay. Now, also, you see the blue bar running across the top of my screen over there where it says Form 1040 Individual Tax Returns, telling you what form you're on. On the right-hand side, it says Refund $6,884. This is something we call the Refund Monitor, just to help you keep track of the bottom line of the tax return. So every time you make an entry, we let you know the updated amount. In this case, I have a refund of $6,884. Okay. At the very top of the screen, if you want to see more than just the refund itself, there is a button at the top that says Summary that you can click and see a little bit more information on total income, adjustments, alt-min, all the way down through either the refund or the balance due. So that's really all there is to creating a return in Pro Series. Now, if you look over on the left side of our screen, we keep track of all the things that are currently happening in the client's return, and we, and we put them in this section over here, what we call forms in use. This is a list of every form, every schedule, every worksheet that you've created for this client's return. So you see I've got the form 1040. It's automatically created the schedule B in the 8879, but it also lists all of the worksheets that I've used. Not everything is a form like the information worksheet where I put the name and address, like the W-2 worksheet. So what's really great is once you've got the return established, you're going to use the left-hand side to quickly navigate through your tax return in subsequent years. Now, I've entered just very simple information. I put in the name and the address and a dependent. I indicated that I'm e-filing, and I added wages and interest. It's already created all those things over here. It's calculated earned income and showing me the worksheet, the child tax credit, and all the forms and schedules that I need in my return. Now you, you look on the left next to my information worksheet, it says I have an error. Now what this is, it's identifying any fields that are absolutely mandatory, that if I don't enter something on that field, it's going to show me an error over here. So if I click the link, one error, it's going to take me, in this case, directly to the field that's creating the error. In this case, we have something called the taxpayer pin where the software can automatically um, assign a five-digit code that will suffice as the taxpayer's signature. But we need you to enter the date the PIN was entered. So I'm going to put in 2000, a 2014 date, and you see that it removes the error down the left-hand side. So that's really all there is to creating a return in Pro Series. Super simple. When we're done, we just hit the, uh, the home base button. It will take us back to the main screen. It will ask us to save the file. And then when we're ready to e-file, e all we do on our main screen is go up into the upper left to a box called Home Base View. Right now it says Form 1040 Individual, and that's why it's listing all my 1040 clients. But if I open it, we have a special section here called the Electronic Filing Center. If I go here, all I do is select the return that I want to transmit. In this case, we were on the Smith return. You can see Kevin and Suzanne Smith is here. All I do is highlight it. Go to the top of the screen, and there's a button that says EF now, and that's what sends the tax return. So that's a very quick look at the overview of Pro Series, a really excellent forms-based data entry. You'll have no problem getting up to speed very quickly. We do have other webinars that get into much greater detail, but I created this one just so you can see in a very short period of time how quickly and easily you can create a tax return in Pro Series. Thank you.